Artificial intelligence has been the hot keyword in the last few months and years since its inception in the form of chat GPT and various other chatbot AI. The global race which has just begun is soon expected to get pretty crowded. And now South Korea is aiming to take the bet on of manufacturing chips for the booming AI industry. Recently, a South Korea-based startup, Rebellion AI, launched its own chips and is in the running for winning the South Korean government contracts. Now, currently, the market is dominated by the US-based chip designer, NVIDIA, with a weighted share of about 86% of the power supply for a few of the world's biggest cloud services. Now, Rebellion AI's recent launch has called the Atom Chip, but is fast emerging as a strong competitor as the firm is aiming for the tag of being the largest AI-supporting chip manufacturer. So what makes this competition so intense? Now, the growth in the number of users of AI technology is simply just unprecedented. The users of ChatGPT has now risen to over 100 million in just under two months after its launch, setting a new record for the fastest user growth. Even Google has now rushed to tap into this market through its very own chatbot, which it has very interestingly named as Bard, hinting at a possible AI boom. The bagging the race for the manufacturing of AI supporting chips will be the good will be a good win for any company. Currently, Nvidia dominates the market, but South Korea is joining the race to penetrate and become the market leader. The companies worldwide are aiming to secure the government backing to produce for a growing demand for AI. And South Korea is wishing to foster a domestic industry with a solid investment of nearly about eight hundred million dollars over the next five years to lift the Korean AI chip market share from 0 to 80% by 2030. The chip by Rebellion AI consumes only about 20% power in comparison to what NVIDIA uh, A100 chips consume, which specializes in chatbot AI applications as countries such as Japan, Germany, the United States, Taiwan and China are aiming to support their interest in diversifying by providing funding to the semiconductor industry. Now, South Korea remains pretty strong in terms of securing a separate designation aimed at making it a global manufacturing hub. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.